Hey guys, what's up? Team 3D Math here. Today we're going to solve this problem. 10x squared plus 45x equals 25. To solve simply means to make this whole thing equal to 0 and solve for x. So, to make this equal to 0, you're going to remove the 25. Because if you do a minus 25 here, this whole thing equals 0. So, minus 25 and whatever you do on this side, you must do on the other side because of the equal sign. If these two sides are equal, then whatever happens here has to happen here. And whatever happens here has to happen here. So minus 25 on both sides, this gives you a 0. Now you're left with 10x squared plus 45x minus 25 is equal to 0. Next step is you're going to factor this. Well, look for the greatest common factor. All these numbers have something in common, which is a 5. A 5, yeah. You can't do a 5x because this one doesn't have an x. So you're going to factor out a 5. You're going to write 5 here. And you're going to do your parentheses. So what's 10x squared divided by 5? This gives you a 2x squared. 45x divided by 5 gives you a 9x. And negative 25 divided by 5 gives you a negative 5 equals 0. Now you're going to make this whole thing equal to 0 unless you could factor this out. In fact, I think you, you can. Let's factor this. The 5 comes back down. And let's factor this thing here. What number multiplies to 2x squared? Well, 2x and an x. And using my way of factoring, um, forget the negative signs, look at 5. What number is multiplying to 5? Well, 5 and 1. Let's try with a 5 here and a 1 here. Then we're going to do our little John thing. And if it doesn't work, we'll switch it around. 5 times x is 5x. 2x times 1 is 2x. Is there a way you could combine these two numbers and get a 9x? No way. So this order will not work. So let's draw a 1 here and a 5 here. 1 times x is 1x. 2x times 5 is 10x. Is there a way to combine these two numbers and get a positive 9x? Of course. Positive 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. That would give you a 9x. So now look at the first number here. You want a negative 1x. So, one, so x times what sign of 1 gives you a negative 1x? x times negative 1. Bottom here, you want a positive 10x. So 2x times what sign of 5 gives you a positive 10x? Positive. 2 times 5 gives you 10x. So this is our answer. 2x minus 1 and x plus 5, but it doesn't stop here. Remember, you want to make this whole thing equal to 0, so you want to solve it individually. So you're going to draw your little lines. Here you have x plus 5 is equal to 0. Here you have uh, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And here you have 5 is equal to 0. Well, let's start with the left side. 5 equal to 0. Is 5 equal to 0? No, it's not. So obviously this does not work. That's not going to be one of the solutions for this problem here, for this system. Next here, you have 2x minus 1 equals 0. You want to solve for x. So you want to isolate the intruder, which is negative 1. To isolate him, you add the opposite, plus 1, plus 1. 2x is equal to 1. What you do on this side, you do on the other side. You guys know this by now. Now you have 2x is equal to 1. You want to solve for x divided by 2, divided by 2. x is equal to 1 half. Next here, x plus 5 equals 0. Let me just fast forward. x is equal to negative 5. So what are your solutions for this problem here? You have a x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 1 half. So the answer is 1 half and negative 5. You can use this here because the 5 is not equal to a 0. All right, that, that's it. Hope that helps. Team 3D Math. Check out the other channels. Like the video if it proved helpful and have a good day.